everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called verapamil hydrochloride. It falls under the class of calcium channel blockers and class 4 antidysrhythmics. The mechanism of action is that it inhibits the calcium ion influx during the depolarization of the cardiac and vascular smooth muscle. The conduction rate at the AV node is slowed and coronary vasodilation occurs. Your indications are going to be atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter with rapid ventricular response or paroxysmal SV. BT. As always, before we get into dosages, please abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your adult dose is going to be 2.5 to 5 milligrams IV over 2 minutes. It will be over 3 minutes in the elderly. A repeat dose of 5 to 10 milligrams can be given if needed. It's important to wait at least 15 to 30 minutes between each dosage. Your pediatric dose is going to be 0.01 to 0.02 milligrams per kilogram IV or IO over two minutes. Contraindications are WPW, sick sinus syndrome, LGL syndrome, heart blocks, severe hypotension, cardiogenic shock, ventricular tachycardia, short PR interval, or children under a year. Adverse reactions of verapamil can include hypotension, nausea, vomiting, weakness, bradycardia, drowsiness, pulmonary edema, and conduction abnormalities. Your drug interactions are that it potentiates hypertensives and it is not advised to use in conjunction with beta blockers. The most common way you'll see it supplied is 2.5 milligrams per milliliter. A few side notes about verapamil. Just like with any other cardiac medication, you want to constantly monitor vital signs throughout transport. Also, remember to get a thorough medical history, and this includes the medication that the patient is on prior to the administration of verapamil. Be aware that AV blocks and also other dysrhythmias can occur. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of professional medical advice, local protocol or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.